hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is part 8 video on blazor web assembly red sample using dotnet 7 api as backend and mud blazor ui library so the main aim of this video is to implement search okay now we are going to add a search box next to the sorting drop down okay here so first let's implement the changes in api project go to api project and go to our dto let's add new parameter okay public string search okay now go to our service file and implement the search logic so here i am going to implement search on the franchise sorry gender like filtering male superheroes and female superheroes so here what i will do if string dot is null or empty and superhero filter start search okay. now here i can add where condition to the query so superheroes dot where gender dot to lower equals to equals to superhero filter dot search to lower okay that's it let's test our api So in our swagger now we can see such query okay i will enter like female and execute see now we are getting all female superheroes okay now let's implement the search in our blazor application okay let me close all these files okay and go to WebAssembly application and open the all superheroes. Okay, here we added previously the starting drop down, right? So let me add one more item. Okay, so inside of it, let's add the search box. So go to Mudblazer website, go to components and go to forms inputs and go to text fields okay so here there is a search box so let's copy okay and add it here okay for now we have to create the a variable for binding the value so let me create a variable like search. Okay, let's bind this variable to bind hyphen value of the search box. Okay, now let's check. Okay, now we got the search box. But let's display the search box like our drop down. Okay. So for that, here for drop down, we have variant like text. For search box, it is outlined. So let's change it to text. Okay. Now both look similar. Now we have to do adding query parameter to our URL. Okay. So query parameters like search equal to our search key. Okay. Now on clicking the search icon, we should implement the API call invocation. So here icon is added through adornment icon. Okay. So there are some adornment color. Same way we'll have a event like on adornment click okay 
So to this event, I need to register a method. So let me register a method like private async class to search async. Okay. And simply call this line of code here. Okay, let's test. Okay, we haven't mapped our method. So first map our method. Do such chasing. Okay. Now test. Okay, search like male superheroes. We are filtering all the male superheroes. Now search like female superheroes. See, we are getting all female superheroes. That means we can conclude that our search is working fine. So next we are going to implement the pagination. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video delivered some useful content to you all. If you like the video, please do support by subscribing to channel and also please don't forget to like and share the video. Soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off.